Welcome back to the kickoff. Second half here at the grand final of the Jewish Shield competition. As a little bit of rain starts falling, I believe, here, Adam. Another missed opportunity with the uh, kickoff restart by the Unicorns as Lloyd Johansson trucks it forward. It makes uh, Tim Lenevez look pretty ordinary in defence there. Big Nico around the corner for the Quins. Masters over the top. McGrath wants to keep going around the corner and ticking it, tacking it up the right. And it puts him in a really nice position, but it's really about using that momentum. And although the Harlequins were the better side for mine in the first half, the Unicorns seemed to have that momentum in the back end. And they've got plenty of momentum in this driving line out as well. I yeah, couldn't agree more, Adam. The Unicorns just showing a little bit more composure at key times. So that's why they've got their noses in front. Well, their horns in front. Their horns in front. The horns, yes, correct, correct. Masters, dancers, poor throw, straight to Bellini. And that's the inexperience and a bad mistake from young JM. Ruin Van Zyl. It's Chris Slade. Comes forward, strikes it sweetly again. But waved away. Disappointing. Get it down there, Lloyd. As he does. It's not a bad kick. Jones is going to have to go back. Throws it. Hastings. Hastings puts it on the boot. Lloyd Johansson comes forward, takes it on the full beats, two tackles. Flick ball out the back to the skipper, Gus Hamilton. Gus Hamilton just keeps pumping those legs. Former Australian schoolboy, McGrath, short ball. Thrown pretty solidly. And oh. Quinn's again. Well, they're trying, Josh. They really want to try an, an up-tempo style of footy. Balls off the deck. Those nice little passes, but they just need to compose themselves just a little, little bit better. We've got an injury here in back play. That is Mitchie Andrews, former Rebel Ryan player. That's a big out for the Unicorns. They'd be pretty disappointed with that very good footballer going off. Nice little close-up of the Unicorns forward pack. Dale Stevenson's with his back to us. You can see the full crowd at the back just out of shot. That is a full house. Yeah, no. No, the, crowd, the crowd have been good, and uh, all day it's been a festival of rugby down here, Josh. We've had the women's, we've had the, the, the lower grades. And, and for mine, this is where the game needs to grow at the grassroots, and it certainly has. Even in 12 months, the standard of footy has risen. We just want to make sure we get more personnel, more supporters, and, of course, more members supporting not just the Rebel, but the game as well here in Victoria. Well, the growth of rugby... We've had 100,000, over 100,000 people watch rugby on this very show. Rugby time brought to you by Wells Productions. We shift to the right. Jones, dominant player, puts it on the boot. Masters does a pretty good job of returning fire. That's a great kick. That is a sensational kick. We spoke about that just before as we see the Unicorns winning the line out and driving it up. The integration with our professional players, the Melbourne Rebels, and getting back and playing Jewish Shield is so important. It will happen next year. It will really lift the standard of footy and also lift this coverage. And it has been sensational this year. And big opportunity here for Quince as we look at Emery. Great close-up again from Wells Productions. We wait. Arpy goes to charters at the back, does it? No. Dummy. Hamilton. McGrath goes midfield. Ferreo. That's to Nico in the middle. Hands all over it. McGrath goes around the corner again. To Gangon. Freddie Austin on the pill. Good little battle at the breakdown. McGrath goes to the pocket. Maradona is directly in it. Beats one off his left. Keeps leg drives going. Gets caught. But it should be some nice play and opportunities for McGrath to go right. Nice little tup again from the tight end. McGrath goes to De Gengel. Bodies on the deck, shifting it. Ferreo, Leo Hansen hits Masters, flies a flat ball to Justin Tavai, but didn't go to hand. Line out. Until I say that, they turn it over. Arpy, beautiful pass from the hooker, double cut out. Leo Hansen, former Wallaby, now has it. Pick and drive from De Gengel, who's been busy, as you'd expect. McGrath wants it, goes right. Nico goes to Arpy James. Some shape off the left. Ferreo goes to Lloyd, who's wandering wide. Slade put him under pressure and got him. Bellini's going to have a crack at Tavai. 
Nico's off the left. Came out. He's straight on Kalolo, but Kalolo brushes off Nico. That's Jeez. surprising. He's done well there. He's done well there with a real poor result in the scrum to get over that advantage line and put his teammates in a very strong position to kick either way and get out of their D zone. Kalolo goes. Jones says, let's get out of here. Received. Carried very, very robustly. What about the defence from Tinny and Annabez? Advantage, 13 green offside. Bit of traffic coming through. Kemu Valentini, Australian schoolboy last year, extremely talented player. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, anywhere you like. His younger brother, Bill. Hold. Busted his knee representing the state team earlier in the year. Also a high talent. Good win to Gangoin's got it at the back. And Unicorns want to hold it up. Charters come through, did a good job to blunt that attack. As the Unicorns fan out to try to bust down Arpi, who carries strongly. An opportunity fastball to the left. That's where they go. Johansson takes it to the line out the back. Tivoli brought down. In some good defence wide, but Matty Hall's playing advantage. Could almost pull a card out for that one, but they take the quick tap, Josh. Ferreo goes on. Maradona finds some space. Let's go to the replay, Adam. And Maradona, when he's had the ball in his head, he's carried it well, carried it strongly, and the pace just picked up. He made him pay. You can see number 21 for the Unicorns, Matt Pollens on as well. Kick off, carry, shift. Good carry. Seven. It's OJ Noah, I believe. The big guns off the bench coming on. Schuster, beautiful work. Nice carry up the midfield from Graham. Shift from Graham. McGrath, sorry. Maradona. McGrath bobbling around. Offloads. Gus Hamilton. Carry forward, makes a clean bait, the skipper. Short ball to his great mate, Jack de Gangon. Dummies keeps on going with Colin chasing. And the two great friends, Angus Hamilton, Jack de Gangon, both Australian schoolboys, represented Victoria proudly. They've just opened up the Unicorns. Great try. Sensational try. The forwards combined and the stars align. Two great young stars here in Victorian rugby. Both combining to get the five-pointer, which will almost certainly turn into a seven-pointer. It certainly is. It's championships minutes, Josh. Gus Hamilton takes it off the line, off the kickoff. Good work. <clears throat> Taufa carries strongly off him. Lord Johansson wants to play it down, tries to get the uh, spiral pun straight to TT. So the big guns off the bench are on. Hastings carries, does well, goes back to TT. And he's run out. Coach Killers can play TT. Quick line out, play on, almost botched. They look like they've found a bit of space there as Hastings, as solid as he always Masters is. Masters coming. Strong engagement, Kalolo feeds. Big second shove by the Quins. Benny Jones drifts across field. Cup ball to his good mate, Chris Slade, who finds some space. Masters is back there. Acres of space. Gets it on the bounce. Stay, Quins. Wants to put it on the boot. Does so. Here comes TT. TT gets the ball from Hastings. TT winds up, beats Masters. Schuster fraction high. Beautiful tackle by Degangorn around the ankles. Degangorn straight on the pill. Well, double effort by Jack Degangorn, former Australian schoolboy. That was quality football. Back to the footy charters, goes back. Poor lift. Bully missed him on the lift, but nonetheless, they've seemed to tidy it up. He got the win. Bellini on the right, sees Arpi, puts it on the shoe to Vi. Goes to his good mate, Masters. JT to JM. JM puts it high. Probably not the best of kicks. I think that was Slade. Yes, it was in the air. Does a good job. Austin over the top. Untidy. A little bit of lack of organisation. Benny Jones, quick little knock on. And Quinn's starting to exert a little bit of pressure. Great opportunity. 
We should just go to a quick break here on Rugby Time.